What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another video. This one here is for all you projector fans out there that have a projector or are thinking about building a home theater and want to know what it's like to play video games on a huge screen like this. Uh, what I have here is a 135 inch elite screen, fixed frame, 1.1 gain, Cinewhite screen here. And what I also have as a projector is the incredible native 4K Sony 295ES with full 18 gigabit bandwidth HDMI ports for full 4K 60 hertz HDR. And it's a great projector for gaming. So if you want the best at the least amount of money for best, it's going to be this projector here. So what we have here is the PlayStation 4 Pro and we're going to play some Days Gone, which is awesome. Now, a few of my Raft Cave Club members have asked me, why don't I play video games on this huge screen? I enjoy it very much, but when you have an incredible OLED from LG, it's kind of hard to not play on the OLED. <laughs> but um, if I had a choice of the full experience of a 135-inch screen with an incredible surround sound, that is definitely more enjoyable than a 65-inch OLED screen. Just got to admit it. The experience of movies and TV shows and sports and especially video games on such a huge screen is a whole nother level. So I made a video about that a long time ago if you want to check that out. All right, guys, without further ado, um, let's play some Days Gone on this projector and uh, see what it's like to play on a huge screen. And the quality of the picture is fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. Like, subscribe, share, welcome to the club, and let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm in game mode right now. I have uh, Reality Creation on. Cineblack Pro is on low contrast and high lamp. 90 contrast, 51 brightness, 56 color, 50 hue, color temp D55, sharpness 55. Smooth gradation at low, 2.2 gamma. Color off, clear white off, BT709. Input lag reduction is on. Might want to raise the contrast, I think. Yeah, why not, guys? Let's do it. Let's go 95 for contrast. See what it looks like. Dick, I guess I'm just making sure he's not going to have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at this. 135 inch. With low input lag. And it's a clean, smooth picture. There he is. <laughs> He's huge. Going for a ride. Lucky lag, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Taking you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, I 
Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see what we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. You get out. I thought you were going to be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. <laughs> so these belong to Mike's men? My men? Yeah. Torres and Evans. They were drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. time. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What do you mean, like these keys? Yeah, can I? Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. <laughs> I got him. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Your gun holster. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that. And I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot. We'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Hey. 
You got the flashlight. You had the honors. One stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. It doesn't seem so bad. Black levels are great. Things a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. In. You go left here. You got it. We can squeeze through here. Following you? That's a tight squeeze. Yeah, you got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? I'm very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion air should be... Oh shit. Took the keys like a monkey. Fucking cheese. 
<laughs> Wasn't the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? Supposed to do is useful. Fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. Man. For what? Mm -hmm. For saving your ass. If you had to run off, my ass wouldn't need to save you. <laughs> what the hell? Someone tried to burn his tats off. It was Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do? Gotta be something long before breaking the tree. Long before? You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. After what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on this shit list, bro. what I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Nice. Need that to blow up the uh, the caves and trap all those freakers in there at night. You, yeah, you, yeah. or during the daytime. Yes. Yeah, right. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is going to keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, taking Copeland to Hot Springs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just going to let it happen. He's going to let those bald-headed freakalikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. So you don't know that. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. 
Yeah, uh, split up. We'll surround them. Here, you know? Got it. Come on Watch your back. Me and I'll settle yeah, them down. don't you worry about me. Come on, mister. We don't mean you no harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. It is. We're looking for you to, like, join up with us. You can use the help. What do you say? Hey, Drifter. I like your style. You got what it takes to survive out here. Man, you talk too much. Why don't you, uh, lower your weapon and come out and shout for a bit? Hey, sister. I thought you just wanted to talk. Oh, I guess. Yep, talk way too That's much. All I gotta say. Someone's here. A bike. Someone's here. Oh I know what to cover you, buddy. <laughs> no problem. Yep. We, we good. Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Right by and they see ours. They figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. <laughs> You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. It's a great game. Days Gone, PS4 Pro, and it looks sweet on this native 4K Sony projector on a 135-inch screen. Gaming is a delight on this projector, so if I didn't have that OLED, I'd be sitting down right there and playing a lot more games here. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. I'm Raf, Home Theater Rules. Stay home, stay safe. Take care. See ya. You know, same as me. Why am I?